Hey there, this is Sandy Root here, the Wild Woman, and today I'd like to continue on in Bob Proctor's book, You Were Born Rich. I've been doing a couple videos on things that I've been loving from this book, and I'm on the last chapter, and this one is called The Vacuum Law of Prosperity, and basically the idea is that nature absolutely abhors a vacuum. So if you look at nature, you know, it's always filling up. It's abundant. Where there is a space, something's going there, something's growing there, you know? So uh, the idea also is um, giving, this law of giving and receiving um, when we're creating a vacuum in your life. So let me explain more. First, I'm going to read this paragraph from the book. Um, so this woman um, has these drapes, you know, these curtains in her home for years, and she hates them. <laughs> she, you know, she gets angry and frustrated every time she looks at them because they're ugly or whatever it is. She just doesn't like them. And so Bob Proctor is trying to explain to her, um, you know, what that means. So here's the paragraph. She then pointed at the curtains in her living room and said, you know something, I absolutely detest those old drapes. I smiled at her and replied, no, you don't, Marge, you love them. Otherwise, you wouldn't have kept them so close to you. I continued, for the only things we have in our life are those that we love or are in harmony with. So at first, the woman had a hard time understanding, you know, accepting that idea that how could she be in love with this thing that she really abhorred. You know, she didn't like it at all, these curtains. Um, and Bob went on to explain, you know, if you're in close proximity to something, whether it's a person or a thing, you're in vibration with it. You're, you have this harmonious vibration, this re resonance with it, and that is another way of being in love with something. Love is just another word for this vibration, this resonance, harmonious resonance we have with something. So how powerful is that? You know, we're really looking at what we're surrounding ourselves with, our things. Like if we hate something, why do we have it? You know, if it's causing us this frustration, this anger, this feeling inside that's, you know, like, oh, okay, what am I doing with this thing? Then we should really be surrounding ourselves with things we truly love. And um, so she eventually started listening to his idea and was taking the drapes down. Her husband was like, what are you doing? We don't have money for drapes. How are you going to get new drapes? Um, but with the vacuum law, you know, you give, you receive, you vacuum, you, you have this empty space now. So she took the drapes down, gave them away, but to maybe the Salvation Army, another family. And, you know, again, when you're giving something, you can expect to get something back, but it, it's may, it usually isn't coming from the same source. So give it to Salvation Army, the universe knows, and it's going to come from somewhere else. So anytime we're giving we can know that it's coming back in some way and may usually not from the person or thing that we originally gave something away to. Um, and so you can't get something unless you're willing to give something away first. And, uh, you know, I think a lot of us uh, grow up sort of hoarding things or being used to having things and just holding on to them. But uh, having that vacuum, having that flow of taking things out and putting fresh things in is important. And look at a, a lot of our closets, you know, I, I remember this from Louise Hay, she used to say, uh, you know, the importance of cleaning out your closet is like clearing out your mind and out with the old, in with the new. And, you know, this really isn't just about physical things surrounding us, but in our mind, what old ideas, old thoughts, old beliefs can we get rid of so that we can bring in new, fresh beliefs, new, fresh ideas, you know, vacuum out that head and let some new, new goodness in. So, again, like the closet says, you know, getting rid of things, uh, we may hold on to something because we, we bought that was really expensive, so we don't want to give it away, or something that maybe it'll fit right someday, but it, it never fits right, you know, it's just something that has this kink that just doesn't fit right, ever. <laughs> so, get rid of it, um, and find that, you know, I've actually done that before with the closet, cleaning it out, and actually having... Like, these clothes come to me and for free that fit me perfectly. They were like my perfect style. And I was like, what? It was just amazing. I just got rid of it. I asked the universe, and there was this box of amazing clothes given to me. <laughs> so I was like, wow. Um, so, yeah, it's really, really, I love this law, vacuum law of prosperity. And that reminds me of this, I was reading this last night before I went to bed, 
and I should have already gotten rid of this dish rack, <laughs> but I got up this morning and uh, been fiddling around a bit and just making this video. But today I'm going to get rid of this dish rack, which brings me anger and frustration because I had this old dish rack that I loved. It was made out of bamboo, and my ex-boyfriend just got rid of it one day uh, without even asking me. And we were using this dish towel to put the dishes on. I'm like, you need to get a new dish rack. And why didn't you even tell me that you were getting rid of the old one? And this new one is like metal and things always fall off of it. It's like, I don't know, things just don't stay on it. So every time something's falling off of it, I get angry, I get frustrated, and I think of him and the whole situation. And it's like, why do I still have this dish rack, <laughs> you know? I've thought of in the past of throwing it out, but I just hold on to it because I'm like, why Why get rid of it? It's, it's there, it's doing its purpose. But no, if it's causing me anger and frustration and I'm not loving it, then it's time. It, I shouldn't have it. So I'm going to get rid of it today. And there will be a vacuum there in my kitchen, and we'll see what manifests. So I don't want to go on too much longer, but thank you so much for watching. I'd love to hear your comments below. And to learn more about what I'm doing online, click the link below. I will see you all next time. Ciao. Have a great day.